For two hours every day, broker Sunda Iyer is crammed onto the trading floor. Tell us what are all the hand signals? What, what are they for? That means we were buying at 85 and we are selling at 87 and a half. Two way code. What's it like though at the moment out there on the floor? It must be tough. You're getting pushed and shoved. Does it get violent at times? Yes, many times when there are uh, uh, very volatile scripts, it does uh, uh, go beyond just pushing and prodding. It goes uh, to deep shouting and uh, even fights, hand fights, sometimes it takes place. But that's all part of the game. Yeah, <laughs> it's all part of the game. And people do enjoy it at the end of the day. Is it fun? It's very much fun, I must tell you. Believe it or not, today's a quiet day on the exchange. Bombay only trades for two hours every day. That's all the traders can take of this frenzy. And it's not unusual for the brokers to emerge from the floor with ripped shirts or even bleeding from wounds sustained in the melee. It's as if every new share issue is an incitement to violence. But with all those shares, the, the, the highest number of transactions in the world per day, this sort of enthusiasm, this pushing and shoving, do you think it ever gets out of control here? At times, maybe. At times, At times because you know, when everybody is a buyer, right? You know, everybody likes to, you know, grab hold of, you know, a jobber or a market maker and say, give me your shares, right? And even in the uh, bear run, right, when the jobber wants to run away, we'll hold, catch hold of him and say, take some. But brokers still occasionally take time out. The stock exchange broker can just about take anything. A year ago, eight bombs exploded in Bombay, killing 350 